This morning, new uncertainty surrounding the timeline of former President Trump's impeachment trial in the Senate. Republican leader Mitch McConnell is proposing the trial be delayed for at least two weeks, saying Trump needs more time to prepare because the Senate cannot short circuit the due process. House Democrats who voted to impeach Trump last week for inciting the Capitol riot have signaled they want a quick trial. They've now informed us they're ready to receive. The question is, are there questions about how a trial will proceed, uh, but we are, we are ready. With Democrats now controlling the Senate, it's up to Majority Leader Chuck Schumer to lay out the timeline. Schumer's office says they're reviewing McConnell's suggestion. Meanwhile, Trump spent his first full day out of the White House Thursday on the golf course. And now he's naming his first lawyer for the impeachment trial, attorney Butch Bowers, a fixture in South Carolina politics, who's represented former governors Mark Sanford and Nikki Haley. Senator Lindsey Graham calls Bowers a, quote, solid guy. We're going to fight like hell to make sure that the second impeachment of Donald Trump uh, ends as quickly as possible, either dismissed or with an overwhelming vote for acquittal. In the meantime, McConnell is criticizing several executive actions taken by President Biden during his first hours in office, a signal of the partisan divide that still looms on Capitol Hill. On the Biden administration's very first day, it took several big steps in the wrong direction. There is still plenty of time for President Biden to remember that he does not owe his election to the far left. And President Biden is also facing pushback against his $1.9 trillion COVID relief package. Senate Republicans say it won't get the 60 votes needed to pass.